Assalamu alaikum, how are you? My name is Jana Ahmed and today we will talk about a very important and major topic which is male and female infertility and the advantage of this topic is that it includes the insemination and the fertilization and the prevention pregnancy and also the condom of the pregnancy and also the genoria and the cyphalus so the first thing that which uh, what means the productive infertility what means infertility first so it is the inability to conceive after two years of a normal sexual life without the use of any conception for both spouses Fertility is defined as the ability to reproduce, therefore the ability of a female to reproduce and its stage begins in the puberty years with the onset of menstruation, the emergence of secondary female traits and features, and that ovary begins to produce mature eggs. Fertility impairment is defined as the inability to conceive temporarily that is in a certain period of time and for any reason and treatment can take place if the cause of this weakness is known and the woman can become pregnant after that without any difficulty so therefore impairment of fertility is considered as relative infertility either infertility is defined as the inability to conceive at all and it is a condition in which treatment was not feasible as it is an incurable and intreatable condition such as a blockage of the uterine tubes in women or scarcity of sperm in men so after that so the after that types of infertility Primary infertility It is infertility that affects a woman since the beginning of her sexual life or marriage Second, infertility It is infertility that affects a woman after having a baby or having a pregnancy that ended in a miscarriage or pregnancy outside the womb Male sterility it may be due to the inactivity of the sperm and their inability to reach the female egg and fertilize it. So, the second thing that causes of infertility. The causes of infertility are varied, first in males. There are two things in males, that means uh, it will be in the infertility, it will be in males and females, but now we will talk in males so there are many reasons that impede a man from having children or temporarily or permanently and that cause infertility for the man and uh, then for that this is the reproduction of the man but of course when uh, the men have infertility it will be have here in the testicle that is co include the sperm cells that bring to the seminal vesicle and the vast difference to pre uh, for bring the baby or the pregnant when meet the uh, the egg and the woman so for that there are many reasons uh, many reasons that impede a man from having children or temporarily like that or incrementally and that causes of infertility for the men are uh, as a result of hormone causes the first thing and the second thing internal causes in the testicle such as the absence of mother cells that produce sperm or testicular fibrosis the third thing obstructive causes as a result of blockage of the epididymis or spermatic cord the fourth thing delayed descent of the testicles into the scrotum at birth the fifth thing Spermatic cord problems, spermatic obstruction due to injury or disease, and the sickest thing that an imbalance in the hormones that control the process of making the sperm, and the seventh thing 
sexually transmitted disease such as gonorrhea and syphilis. The eating and imbalance in the semen produced by the seminal gland and prostate such as a deficiency of fructose. The ninth thing, very cell affects the number and movement of sperm. The tenth thing, some immune diseases such as the presence of antibodies to sperm whether in man or woman. So, the eleventh thing, other causes such as testicular cancer and testicular injury, significant injuries. The twelfth thing, other causes such as reflux of ejaculation, when the sperms reach the urethra, they return to the bladder instead of exciting. Then we will talk about the woman. The second thing in the woman. Of course, we know that the causes of infertility differ in different types, as primary infertility is usually due to hormonal disease or the immaturity of the genitals for congenital disease reasons. So, the second infertility may occur due to complications of childbirth, abortion, or infections that may affect the uterus and fallopian tubes. The second thing that it is ovarian disease. The ovarian disease. Here is the picture of ovary and here the polycystic ovary that here brings the pregnancy from uh, from the man that it will in, uh, go in the fallopian tube to meet the sperm cells from the male but at that time what will happen if their infertility or some problem in fallopian tube that means it will it will not uh, bring a pregnancy or it will not it is impossible to bring a pregnancy for the woman and from the man. So, which leads to irregular evolution and may arise as a result of aging or as a result of medical conditions related to the functions of several incordance glands in the body, such as polycystic ovaries and the cause of infertility is due to a defect in the ovarian dysfunction. Number one, because of the presence of cysts on the ovaries, polycyst ovarian disease, which is PCODA. The second thing, ovarian failure in its normal function for the following reasons. A. Ovarian failure. Ovarian failure, uh, it's being in two ways. Number one, I, uh, a congenital defined in genes and chromosomes. The second thing, congenital dysfunction of the enzymes. 17A hydroxylase deficiency galactosemia. The P thing, exposure to certain influences such as exposure to radiation in large quantities and exposure to chemicals. The C thing, autoimmune causes and the presence of antibodies to ovary. The D thing, absence or Malfunction of the FSH and LH receptors in the ovaries, and of course, FSH and LH, it is the falsely, it is the fol uh, the follicle stimu uh, stimulating hormone, which means FSH and LH that literizing hormone. This is the symbols for these two things. Then the second thing that it is. In the ovary, uh, the eating, surgical removal of the ovaries for one reason or another. The eating, physiological failure of the ovary, such as a, uh, a decrease in the yellow body, secretion of the hormone, progesterone, corpus, lithium, insufficient. The third thing, a defect in the work of the pituitary gland. The fourth thing, Hypothalamic failure, it is considered one of the common causes of irregular evolution. The fifth thing, causes resulting from disease of other glands. The sixth thing, that is the last thing, unknown idiopathic causes for these problems. So, the second thing, that fallopian tube obstructions. We know that fallopian tubes of various and uterus 
polypen tube and the valleys and the terriers and the cervix and the vagina and the vulva so from where came the pregnancy of course we talk about it that it's coming from the ovaries but the follicle tube that is the thing which brings the pregnancy to meet the sperm cells of the male so this connection usually results from surgical adhesions or pelvic infections chronic infections scientifically called coring infections PID pelvic inflammatory disease the first thing damage to the end to the ducts cilia this causes it to fail to bring the egg into the tube and this called be due to infections or from the disease to the uterial linking endometriosis the second thing adhesions as a result of surgery on one of the two channels a the result of an asotopic pregnancy b as a result of surgery of nine pouring pelvic organs uh, or are, uh, as a result infections in nine pouring organs such as appendetics the third thing shortness of the two channels less than four centimeters the fourth thing tumors that affect the fallopian tubes or the ovaries and affect the work of the fallopian tubes so the next thing that it's treatment but before treatment the medicine uh, is there a cure for infertility that we will see now yes there is more than one way to treat infertility now I will mention some of them that it is modern medicine has secreted in, turn, uh, in treating many causes of infertility the treatment depends on the causes of, uh, of infertility whether for the man or the woman or both the first thing hormone therapy this is done by giving different types of hormones or stimulator the eggs to grow and mature to become suitable for fertilization controlled ovarian stimulation the second thing surgical treatment in the event that there is a blocking in the fallopian tubes for any reason then it is treated either by trying to correct this defect as it is possible to open the blockage in the fallopian tube using a special catheter based throughout the cervix throughout the uterus to research and open the fallopian tube transferical selective cell pain graph so of course now we we uh, already talk about the m m uh, female uh, fallopian how to like make the surgical treatment in it but what about the male so of course we'll make the surgical treatment in the testicles which means a vasectomy is a surgical produced where the vas difference the tube that carries a male sperm from his scrotum to his urethra is cut why because of that the, that means the following tube that we will open it and solve the problem in it and also the testicles in the boys so the second thing that causes where pregnancy is difficult The causes in which it's difficult to conceive are few. For a man, there is a complete failure of the testicle functions. That it is, it does not produce sperm. As for woman, the absence of a womb or ovaries or failure of ovulation function is due to a part defect or as a result of reaching menopause. So until now, until now the medicine is still ample to find some difficulties difficult causes for sterility and this is due to god's will so thanks for watching